find the bilinear transformation which maps the points z1 equal to 2, z2 equal to iota and z3 equal to negative 2 into the points w1 equal to 1, w2 equal to iota and w3 equal to negative 1. So we have to find the bilinear transformation for these mapping points. Till now what we have done? The points in the z plane were given to us and also by using the given transformation we have found the region in the w plane right but here we have to find the transformation now right for the mapping points which are given to us so before starting with the solution we have to know about the term cross ratio cross ratio of the four points z1 z2 z3 z4 taken in this order is defined to be equal to please look at over here so just write z1 minus z2 then divide by z2 minus z3 and then in the numerator z3 minus z4 and in the denominator z4 minus z1. So this is how you have to complete the cycle, right? And it is denoted by z1, z2, z3, z4 in the bracket form. So the definition of cross ratio is the cross ratio z1, z2, z3, z4 of the four points z1, z2, z3, z4 as the image of Z1 under the bilinear transformation W equal to TZ that is equal to now here you do not have to start with Z1 just write Z minus Z2 over Z2 minus Z3 then Z3 minus Z4 over Z4 minus Z which carries Z2 into 0 Z3 into 1 and Z4 into infinity right secondly if Z2 is infinity the transformation will reduce to just take z2 common you will get then z1 over z2 minus 1 z3 minus z4 over 1 minus z3 over z2 z4 minus z this z2 will be cancelled out from the numerator and the denominator and here z2 is infinity so this term will go to 0 so this is 0 minus 1 that is negative 1 into z3 minus z4 over this is 1 minus 0 so this is z4 minus z and because of this negative sign so this transformation will reduce to now z3 minus z4 over z minus z4 similarly if z3 is infinity then transformation will reduce to z minus z2 over z minus z4 and if z4 is infinity then transformation will reduce to z minus z2 over z3 minus z2 right okay now to find the bilinear transformation which transform three distinct points z1 z2 z3 into three specified points w1 w2 w3 for that we have to consider the transformation this one again same cycle order but here i'm having the points w1 w2 w3 three points only i'm having so i have to start with w so write w minus w1 over w1 minus w2 then w2 minus w3 over w3 minus again back to w right similarly for z just take this equal to z minus z1 over z1 minus z2 then z2 minus z3 over z3 minus z whenever you have to find that bilinear transformation when the mapping points are given to you then you have to consider this transformation just start from here okay so let's start with the solution now now as the points z and w all these points are given to us so just writing the transformation first so we have to consider w minus w1 over w1 minus w2 then multiplying with w2 minus w3 w3 minus w this is equal to again z minus z1 over z1 minus z2 multiplying with z2 minus z3 over z3 minus z i'm not having z4 point okay so this implies 
just putting the values of w1 w2 w3 here and z1 z2 z3 values in the right hand side we get w minus 1 over 1 minus iota into iota and this is negative 1 so this is iota plus 1 over negative 1 minus w this is equal to z minus 2 over 2 minus iota into iota plus 2 over negative 2 minus z this is a negative this is a negative so taking the negative sign common and this will become just cancel this this will be then z plus 2 and this will become w plus 1 is it okay okay so this implies now i'm having 1 minus iota over here so i'm just going to rationalize this so i'm writing 1 plus iota i'm multiplying 1 plus iota and also dividing with 1 plus iota similarly here i'm having 2 minus iota so i just multiplying with 2 plus iota in the denominator and also 2 plus iota in the numerator so this is w minus 1 and this is iota plus 1 whole square so just open this square you get a square plus b square plus twice a b over this is a minus b into a plus b that is a square minus b square so 1 minus iota square that will give you 2 w plus 1 and this is equal to z minus 2 over again applying the formula for a square minus b square you get 4 minus iota square that is 5 into z plus 2 and here this will become 2 plus iota whole square so opening the square you get a square plus b square plus twice a b that is 4 iota right okay so from here this is iota square that will be cancelled out with this one because iota square is negative 1 so you will be getting 2 iota right and then 2 is cancelled out with this 2 and i will get w minus 1 over w plus 1 into iota on the left hand side so this implies w minus 1 over w plus 1 into iota this is equal to here what i get this is 4 minus 1 that is 3 plus 4 iota and z minus 2 over z plus 2 into 5 so this is z minus 2 over 5 into z plus 2 and here i'm having 3 plus 4 iota because I'm having iota over here, so I just need this iota to be taken out as common so that I can cancel this iota. So this is, so just taking iota common, I get 3 over iota plus 4. So from here, I can also multiply and divide with iota. So what I get over here, I get negative 3, right? So I get this as 4 minus 3 iota. Is it okay? So cancel this iota from here and then the next step is I have to just apply the componential and dividendal. So I get just uh, adding the numerator and denominator first. So I get 2w over and then numerator minus denominator that is negative 2 here also numerator plus denominator so this is z minus 2 4 minus 3 iota plus 5 z plus 10 over numerator minus denominator so this is z minus 2 into 4 minus 3 iota minus 5 z minus 10 so from here you get negative w so this is equal to just simplify this so this is 4z minus 3 iota z minus 8 plus 6 iota plus 5z plus 10 over 
4z minus 3 iota z minus 8 plus 6 iota minus 5z minus 10. So from here, I can collect the terms. This is 4z and 5z that will give us 9z. And this is negative 3 iota z plus 6 iota. And this is 10 minus 8 is 2 over. Then 4z minus 5z will give us negative z. And this is minus 3 iota z. And this is plus 6 iota. And this will give us negative 18. Before simplifying further, let me manage this negative sign. So I cancel this negative sign with the denominator. So this will become positive, positive, and this is positive, and this is negative. Right? Okay. And now taking the terms containing z together and taking 3z common from here. So I get 3z into 3 minus iota and from here taking 2 common I get 2 times 3 iota plus 1 over similarly from here I can take z common so this is 1 plus 3 iota and from here taking plus 6 common so I get 3 minus iota. So now from here taking 3 minus iota common from the numerator and the denominator we get 3z minus 2 into 3 iota plus 1 over 3 minus iota over z into 3 iota plus 1 over 3 minus iota plus 6. And just rationalizing this now we get so this gives us 3z minus 2 into 10 iota over 10 so this 10 will go over z times 10 iota over 10 let me cancel this 10 plus 6 so this is finally we get 3z minus 2 iota over z iota plus 6 so finally we get the required transformation as w is equal to 3z minus 2 iota over z iota plus 6 so there is another method to get this transformation which will be discussed in the next content. Thank you.